It's day 14 and we're talking Tegra. How's it going guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com and the HTC One X Plus. I'm carrying it for 30 days. It's got a 1.7 gigahertz quad core Tegra 3 CPU. Let's go see how it holds up, especially when it comes to its namesake, gaming. We're talking Tegra in day 14 of my HTC One X Plus 30 day challenge. This thing is powered by 1.7 gigahertz NVIDIA Tegra 3 CPU. And you know, comparatively speaking, NVIDIA's Tegra 3 isn't in a ton of devices in the mobile space, at least on the smartphone side. We really see a ton of Snapdragon S4 powered devices and S4 Pro powered devices and Exynos on the Samsung side and TIO map occasionally. We don't really see a whole lot powered by Tegra 3. That said, the functionality for Tegra 3, the benefit is in gaming. And let's take a look at this EA game to really see how it performs. Now, what's been interesting to me is I'm 14 days in with this, and you know, the Tegra 3 is a speed demon. It's a quad core device that does really well on speed tests. But what I've found with the Tegra 3 is, at least for me, when it comes to day to day tasks, and that could be a combination of the specs of this device. I mean, you know, with the one gigabyte of RAM, I find that it's not as fluid, not as fast as the Snapdragon S4 counterpart, like the Snapdragon S4 Pro or the Exynos processor, which is in the Note 2. So if you're comparing quad core to quad core to quad core, kind of apples to apples, if you will, I find that this one is a little bit slower for me. Now, where it does excel, though, is in gaming. It does an exceptional job here, and Mass Effect Infiltrator is what comes on the device, but I downloaded kind of the, uh, the full version. And granted, I'm not a gamer, so somebody asked me for this on YouTube. Not a huge gamer, but I will say graphics have been impressive in the time that I've tested it in the 30-day challenge. So let's see if we can get past this. I'd like to play the game. We're going to, I guess I have to go through all of this. Do not want to restart the checkpoint. Let's go back. Well, you know what, let's restart it and see what happens. So we'll go through here, and you're seeing this obviously in real time. I have uh, not really played this game past demoing it a little bit on video. I haven't actually, like I said, I'm not a huge gamer. I play like card games and Monopoly. Uh, real board games. People are like, what are board games? And you can see graphics are really good on this device. The quad-core NVIDIA Tegra 3 CPU working really well. I mean, I'll bring it up closer to the display so you can take a look. Sound is nice. Whoa! Language, Jiminy Crickets, Snap. So obviously I'm getting oriented right now, and I guess I just, yeah, do I just, okay, good. There's gotta be a faster way to walk. People that are game for a regular basis, people that game rather are probably laughing at me, but you can take a look at the graphics, and this woman is still talking to me and telling me something which I'm not paying attention, so I'm probably gonna get attacked in just a second. Let's see. As you can see again, you know, incredibly speedy through this. She keeps telling me to move out, and I can't figure out how to move out. Maybe do I move forward like that, or what is the gesture recognition here to move forward? Let's see. Keep doing, maybe, let's see here. There we go. So I'm moving forward, and you can see the graphics are pretty impressive all around. And again, this is an area, swipe up on the left vault. Okay, okay, vault. Whoo, whoo. Shazam, there we go. Tap to aim, okay. It's a very violent game, dang. I think I'm dying. Anyway, so you can see, very flu uh, fluid, smooth graphics all around, little to no lag, I'm going to get killed as I'm talking about the Tegra 3 processor, but you know, that's where it really excels is in gaming. It does an exceptional job there. That said, where I'm finding the slowdown just in day-to-day -day tasks, and like I said, that could be the combination of one gigabyte of RAM here, whereas the Note 2, Droid DNA, some of these other devices that are running Snapdragon S4 Pro CPUs and Exynos quad-core CPUs do have two gigabytes of RAM. That's what I'm finding in day 14. This was in response to YouTube questions, so special thanks to that. Hit me up with your questions as to what you want to see in the 1X Plus 30-day challenge. I'm at phone dog underscore Aaron on Twitter. I'm on Facebook at facebook.com slash hi Aaron Baker, and then on Google Plus as well, either at gplus.to slash phone dog or gplus.to slash Aaron C. Baker. If I see it, I'll do my best to answer it in the challenge. Hit me with your nitty-gritty questions. So far, battery life has been decent, though I will say battery life does get sucked out pretty quickly when you're playing games as you would expect. Standby time is pretty strong, but with a 2,100 milliamp hour battery, I find it to be slightly less in the battery life department than the Samsung Galaxy S3, thanks to 4G LTE. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage. I'll be back in a couple of days to update you on my 30-day challenge, so we'll see you next time.